This is Mitchell Zola reporting for Global Medical News Network. Neurologist Raul Naguera from Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston found in his retrospective study that treating selected stroke patients beyond eight hours from the time of their stroke was safe. Basically, we look at this uh, co cohort of uh, 237 patients across uh, 11 different uh, North American academic centers with the intent of trying to establish the safety of this approach, basically selecting patients who present to us uh, after eight hours from the time that they were last seen at their baseline, which is basically the, the current uh, uh, accepted parameter to treat patients. All the previous uh, studies for catheter-based therapies, they use this very rigid uh, time window of zero to eight hours. So there is no safety data even to actually pursue treatment in patients that for one reason or the other uh, come to the hospital after eight hours that they were uh, uh, last seen well. So you believe that it's not really the time to presentation, but rather the amount of dead brain that you have at any given point in time. Right. So perhaps having a volume of uh, 100 cc's of dead brain within two hours is more risky than having a volume of 30 cc's of dead brain at 12 hours. Right, in terms of uh, hemorrhage risk. So you conduct this analysis and we basically conclude that there was no safety concern in terms of the rate of uh, uh, intracranial hemorrhage of uh, major bleed in the brain that was found in these uh, 230 plus patients. Uh, the actual rate was 8.9%, which is within the 10% range that has been previously described it in patients that have been treated with catheter-based therapies within this more rigid time window of zero to eight hours. Moreover, we were concerned that if you give blood clot buster medica uh, medications, what you call uh, uh, thrombolytics or fibrinolytics in these patients at these late time windows, uh, they would incur in a higher risk of intracranial hemorrhage. And again, we were uh, very comfortable when you look at our data and you, you could see that the use of this intra-arterial catheter uh, uh, administer blood clot buster medications did not incur in any additional chance of intracranial hemorrhage. For Global Medical News Network, this is Mitchell Zoller.